Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on the Wednesday, the, what is it, uh, February 12th? We got two more days till Valentine's? Uh-oh. Good to see you, Bonnie. Good to see you, Phil, Chuck, Lawrence, Grant. Good to see you all, Chuck, everybody, Ed. How did everybody enjoy the event yesterday with Tom Sosnoff from Tastyworks? You guys enjoyed that? Looks like we had a great crowd. Several hundred people were there online. That's awesome to see that many people in there. Good to see you, Wayne, Lita. Very cool. He's a, you know, uh, me, me and Tom Sosnoff go way, way, way back. Like he said, we go back about two decades. And uh, it's just great to have him on. So you guys have a little bit different of a perspective on what it's like to, you know, seeing a, you know, a floor trader who does options. And you see what I do as being a, you know, a, a market maker uh, on the stock market side. And, you know, it's good to always learn a little bit about everything. And I always tell everybody this. Good, um, good traders surround themselves with good traders. You know, there's a lot of junk out there. And there's a lot of people out there that, that you know, get these uh, YouTube uh, commercials and, you know, people pounding their chest and bragging this and that. And I tell everybody, you know, that don't, you know how you find and knowing you're dealing with a reputable person. Now, remember. People in the industry will surround themselves with reputable people. And, uh, you know, th that's how you know when, you, you, when you're dealing with someone that really knows what they're talking about is going to do, do the best for you guys. Because like you, like you said, like, I don't know if you remember when I was talking about, uh, when I was talking about uh, Tom and I, I mentioned the, the thing about, you know, uh, which we'll call it, uh, being around so long and doing this for a while. And, you know, you all know that, you know, the great Cinderella story about him is that he built Thinkorswim and he sold it to TD Ameritrade for a gazillion dollars. And I told him, I says, you know, and I always sat down. I said, Tom, you made so much money. Why would you waste? Why would you do this all over again? Why not go play golf like some of us or, you know, just go and travel the world and do whatever he goes. He goes, but this is his dream. This is what he enjoys, what he does. This is what he, you know, he, he loves in inventing stuff. Part of his thing. And yeah, and like anything else, Grant, we all love money, you know, and that's what makes us great entrepreneurs, right? And that's what makes, makes us, uh, you know, and, and by us making more money, everyone else makes more money, you know, trickle down. So, um, you know, so it's just great to hear that he's contributed and, you know, his platform is out there and hopefully you guys are going to go out there and do that demo uh, for that platform. By the way, if you want to get that promo uh, for his platform, let me just bring it up really quick here for you. I know we brought it up yesterday, but it's got a great deal that's going on. Uh, I got to take down this page, but where are we? Here we go. Go to Tastyworks, and uh, right here is your page. Just click on that, and we'll get you registered for it. All right. Let's put that link. There we go. Get the uh, remember he's got that promo twenty five hundred dollars of real money you get to trade their money. All right, so uh, it, uh, could I get in? I um, will I get the recording for it? Lawrence says yes, actually, Lawrence. So if you did register, uh, if you want the recording that you missed it, just go back to the homepage, and I think you can still register too. Click over here, watch the Sosnoff re um, event replay. You see it right there, and you can watch it right here. Just hit the play button. And you'll be able to watch the replay. Okay? Just get that up and running for you. If you notice about the Cybertree University website, I just want to guys to let you know that we really, really cut down on a lot of the glitter and stuff. We're really trying to tone down the website to make it faster and right to the point. You know, seems like simpler is always better. So I'll just kind of give you guys a heads up on that. Anyway, let's get back into the fun part about why we all here. And that is obviously to make money, right? So... <laughs> Let's talk about what happened yesterday. Then we'll go through the watch list. Uh, a couple of nice, big, big movers. First of all, let's congratulate Sprint. Had a great, great move. We had that Sprint trade. It's never going to show up. There we go. So Sprint, let me just fix the time chart here. So Sprint had a nice little push, had the little buyout, had a nice little move early in the morning, and then kind of flat for the day. So it was a huge pre-market pop. And then obviously with, with the merger with T-Mobile, so that one worked out pretty well. UAA, another one, bad earnings. And, you know, it's it's at support levels here, but I don't understand. I mean, you know what? Everybody's tries to go cheaper. They think it's, you know, from a, from a, 
a Nike's perspective to Under Armour. Not looking too good for Under Armour, so I don't know what's going on with that stock. But anyway, if it holds here, you know, let's look for a dead cat bounce. REXN. Another nice little runner right there. Went from 225 to 425. That one did pretty well. And then the AV, A, I'm sorry, ADVM was another runner that also I'm throwing back on the watch list again because she is moving not up a lot, but she was a great runner in the morning. She ran from like 11.50 to almost 1450. Where do you find that? You know where? Right here in the cyber group room. All right, so what's going on this morning with some of the watch lists? Now, uh, so I've been watching my total view. There's a couple of good, good stocks I want to keep an eye on. First of all is the, there's the AIM trade. Now, AIM, very cheap little stock, very inexpensive. Let me bring it up over here so you can see what it looks like over here, AIM. So this one, you know, this stock took a huge hit from $7 all the way down here. It's making a little bit of a push. It's up 19%, 3 million shares already traded. You got some decent iceberg orders. You got a 14,000 shares, a 26,000 share. So it's got some good iceberg orders out there that are making good support and resistance levels. Got a pretty decent move. So I want to keep an eye on that one. That one made my watch list. ALNA, another one right here. Uh, maybe not. You know, one minute it looked pretty good. Next minute it got pretty ugly. So probably going to scratch. Let me scratch that one. Not good. It won't look good this morning early, but then all of a sudden it crapped out, it looks like. You know, that could happen, by the way. <laughs> Just let you know. DRI, another stock that's gapped up, 6%. Got a, you know, you got a uh, almost 100,000 shares. The cool thing about this stock, let me just bring this up. Oh, the other system. All right, so you got a... 31,000 shares sell it that's sitting at 891. So they got some major, major resistance levels. That's why it's obviously not breaking it. If that guy gets taken out, definitely want to keep a very close eye on that one. A -G -E, uh, AGRX. Another one that's making a nice little move right here. Nice little trend. It's been having a nice little fun time from 2.50 cents. It's already at 450. You know, uh, Looks like a uh, looks like a pharmaceutical stock, if you ask me. Nice little move, nice little push. Uh, Ben's saying AMD's making a nice push. Yeah, I mean that thing is, you know, once again, like for everybody else, yes, we like AMD. We've been trading it so many times, but remember, this is a brand name stock. Unless you are uh, been trading for a while, you know, here in the trading room, at least over a level two trader, stay away from the stock. Guys got some nasty stakes, but yeah, that's a great, great call, Ben. Yeah, it's making a nice little pop. What else we got? E I G R Tiger stock had took a big hit from 11 down to three had a nice push yesterday it's gapped up a little bit 61,000 shares you got nice orders out there that's not terrible that Bath and Beyond I, you know I don't understand the stock I mean I don't know how the stock is still in business it's a great store but I don't know that twenty dollar coupon 20 20 percent coupon is it really working it was down to eight you know back we remember we trade this back in August remember. And this thing just did not stop. Well, guess what? It's going back to where it started. It's going to test some major support levels just below $10. A lot of orders. going to have a lot of action today. Obviously, earnings was not good. Uh, so it's, it's trending lower. So don't look for a dead cat bounce. Not yet. PRXC. Another one. This stock got decimated. $24 stock in July. It went all the way down to a dollar. And uh, you know what? It gapped up. I don't know. what You know what? I, I had, I was feeling a little good about this stock because it was up at a buck 70. Just dropped 30 cents. Look at the orders out there. 1.4 million shares and the market's not even open. That's just all of us guys trading in pre-market. But it looks like, I don't know, it's kind of flat right here. You got a 20,000 share buyer at 222. We'll see. You know what? Put this on the, sec uh, put this on the, uh, the second page, not on the priority page. Now, listen, there's not that much going on this morning. I'll be honest with you. Market is doing great. We're up 160 points so far. For all those haters out there, yeah, just keep shorting it, you know. It's just there's no reason. I don't know why people hate the stock market so much. I mean, it's, listen, be public and look what happened to all those Sprint, the people that worked at Sprint, all those employees. They're, looking, they're pretty happy today, all right? So anyway, uh, love the stocks. 
There's, but we got a couple of them. We'll see what happens when the market opens up. We always get new ones, but we got a pretty decent list when the market uh, goes. Uh, is, Powell, uh, is Powell done with Congress, Wayne? I don't know. I don't know. You know, listen, he's, I know he's not raising interest rates, whoever's in there. Listen, they always want to keep a good, a good positive economy. <laughs> That's all that matters. So anyway, good luck, everyone. Happy trading. We'll start commentating in about 15 minutes. And don't forget, classes here at Cyber Tree University will start today at 1030, an hour from now, a little more than an hour from now. So just get your money in, make your trades. Let's go out there and trade, and let's all jump into class. Remember, everybody, the class is not to teach you how to make money. It's to teach you how to stop losing it. So don't forget that. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And also, before I forget, if you, if you missed it, Tom Sosnoff event, if anybody logged in late, just go to the CTU website, right on the homepage, watch the the uh, the Tasty Trade replay if you missed it, and you know, and then at the end, if you want to register for that trial, go ahead, it's right on our website, just click here in the bottom, Tasty Works, and get that promo. All right, guys, good luck today, happy trading.